Welcome viewers to the SD online classes. This is the third lecture of your first chapter motion. In this we will do another numerical, second numerical. Uh, in the just previous one we did one numerical and this is the second one. Here we will discuss the problem like this. A boy is there who is, moves at, who is moving a distance 3 meter towards south, south direction. You know the direction, north, east, south, west, there are directions. Then he turns, moves 4 meter towards east. Important is direction, south, east okay and what is the total distance covered what is the displacement that you have to do so first of all one very simple rule you have to know is that there are four different directions okay these are four different directions we call this side as east this is west north south okay now suppose the boy is here starting here a boy moves a distance of three meter towards south that means he will go this side south, right? Fine. From let me start from O, it reaches A. Then he turns and moves towards east. East is that side, that side. So he turns this side, and how much? Four means slightly longer than three, maybe here, slightly longer. So he reaches here. Fine. That is the whole thing. This is three meter. This is 4 meter. Now what is the question? Calculate total distance. How much it has traveled the whole thing? Very simple. What is the net displacement? How far he is from here you have to tell. That is displacement. Let us write number 1 just like this. Total distance. How much it has covered? Remember what is total distance? Go to the first video and check in your textbook also you can see. Distance is the actual length covered, the original length covered. How much original length it has covered? 3 plus 4. So this is O to A and from A to B. So what is the whole thing? 3 plus 4 equal to 7 meter finish. This is your distance. Now what about displacement? Displacement, when you write displacement, we don't think about where is the path how it went originally we only see starting we only see ending how far is this ob displacement is simply ob so i need to find what is ob how to find this ob not by scale by mathematical operation what is that this is a right triangle okay right triangle in a right triangle there is some relation what is that hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square remember hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square you can see these things are going to come in your maths also okay in a right triangle right triangle means in a triangle where you have 90 degree there you will find that the base is there 4 meter perpendicular is there 3 meter and the hypotenuse is h so that we need to find so how we will find it here h square equal to b square plus p square this is the formula of pythagoras theorem okay now what is h square b square that we'll write it here b square is four square base is this one what is p square three square four square is 16 four fours are 16 three square is three threes are nine together it is 25 okay h square is 25 what is h square root of 25 you see h square is 25 means h will be square root of 25 okay there is a basic maths in square root chapter you will do this in maths so h is how much square root of 25 is how to find 25 square root 5 5 is the 25 okay so this is how you do you take this common h equal to 5 meter. So this is what I will do it here in shortcut square root of b square that means o a square plus o b square p square this is p square okay this is b square what is this 3 square this is 4 square what is this 9 plus 16 what is this 25 so this will be 5 meter. Okay. Thank you.